I can't envisage anyone saying 4 3 today with a last minute winner for Tottenham. Um, they've done the whole town proud, they've done me proud, they've done themselves proud. And yeah, I was, I was gutted at the end, but it's the, the overriding emotion now is just how proud we are of what, what we've achieved and how far we've come as a club. So we keep playing like that, then we'll be, um, we'll be winning a lot more than we lose. Are you going to take that? Pride, as you said, and the positivity into the league because obviously you're looking for promotion as well. I mean, they're going to be deflated for the next game, or what? Are you nah, they, they, they don't know when they beat these boys. Believe me, um, I thought the third goal for us is one of the biggest goals because to go two 0 up, then to to concede two. Um, I think other teams could have wilted and, and lost it, but we've gone on and scored again. You know, uh, fantastic goals as well we scored today. So um, they've got character, these boys. Um, we've got some good leaders in the dressing room. I don't believe there'll be a, there'll be an after the Lord's Mayor show sort of thing. I think it will be consistency. Uh, I've got a good squad. I've got good rotations available, and uh, you know, exits on Tuesday night away is going to be a reality check for us. But um, it's a huge, huge game in uh, in what is turning into. Uh, a good season for us. The, the aim was never promotion at the start. Um, the aim is trying to finish as high as we can, as, as Wickham Wanderers do. Um, but we, uh, we're really proud today, and, and, and I think if we can keep that consistency and that performance level, then we'll, uh, we'll do well in both the league and the semi final of the Checker Trade Trophy, which is uh, about 10 days away as well. So, Mauricio <laughs> said he was lucky. Do you think Spurs were lucky? Um, yeah, he, he, uh, he's. I take that as a huge compliment, you know, that he says they were lucky. Um, maybe they were lucky with a, a few extra seconds added. Um, that's about it. But um, they're a good side. There's two regular internationals on the pitch at the end there to, to break us down. Um, and I'm hoping that there's a few players in my team that have caught the eye and, and people think they can play a little bit higher as well because they've they've given everything, you know, and, and I can't ask any more as a manager, like I say. Just, uh, just wasn't going to be our day, but our day will be soon if we keep playing like that. Did you see the compliment when they brought on uh, Ali and Dembele? Yeah, absolutely. It's a compliment being here in the first place. It's an honour to to be next to Mauricio in the in the technical area. You know, it really is. I'm 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 learning so much about the game. So to to have put myself against somebody of his stature, I think he's, he's done an amazing job here. Fantastic. With eyebrows raised when he took over here, he's proved everyone wrong and to be on the same level as that is just awesome for me. So, um, brilliant and uh, and big compliments that they've had to change to uh, to get the result. It must have been the moment, you know, you, you, you really had them rattled, you know, two and a half time and sort of hour mark, they still got back into it. The big guns come on. Uh, Mauricio, I suspect, would have liked to have kept them on the bench if he could have. Um, yeah, yeah, probably. He's got he's got many games to come up, some big games coming up as well. Uh, so, um yeah, I mean, it, he's a football manager. He wants to win games, so you, you do what you need to do to win games. Um, you know, they, they are they're good players, and, and they. Are, but I, I also thought that we held our own in a few times. We played some good moves. I thought our goals were really well worked goals, and uh, and it wasn't going to be our day today. But our, our day will come soon. And, and like I say, override emotion is pride and and um, the realization of how far we've come in in a couple of years. Two years ago, we're looking at. Going out of the football league today, we're competing and almost causing one of the biggest upsets of the uh, of the season in, in the FA Cup. So, no, really proud and uh, like I said, just just get back to reality now and uh, and make sure the boys stay consistent. I guess well, you know it'll be a secret no more. You know, uh, 16 games unbeaten and now what we've been doing is you know comes national attention. Well, that's nice. Uh, it will be forgotten very quickly, believe me, um, because this game uh, this game is is. Cruel. Uh, so today will be all about Wickham and how close it was. Tomorrow we'll be concentrating on uh, on Exeter and how they play, and and we'll be going back into the uh, the League Two. That, that it's not really significant to in, in in the grand scheme of things, you know. But it is to us, and we'll keep competing and and pushing hard to to one day play on big stages like this. And, and you know, I believe that we've got enough at Wickham Wanderers to. To achieve and to build and to sustain a, a, a good club, and, and that's what it's all been about with Andrew Howard and, and myself uh, for the last two years. What did Mauricio have to say to you? Um, he said, "That's football. You were unlucky today. Uh, be proud of your boys." Um, he, he, he doesn't need someone to be proud. I'm immensely proud, and he's right. That is football. It can be like that. Um, what a fantastic game today, though. And uh, I think we've we've all got to say, you know, brilliant game for the neutral. Awesome game. 
you know, Wickham Wanderers to come here and do that, I think was is just fantastic. And uh, like I say, I'm not, I'm not down. I'm I'm positive, and I will be. They'll never get me down. <laughs> Nobody. How does that stand against you know, the great escape a few years back? Yeah, the the the, 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 <coughs> the Torquay game, the uh, the Wembley appearance. You know, I say the moments like today that you want to be a footballer for. But I've got extra away on Tuesday, which again I will be the same manager in the technical area, jumping around like a lunatic because I want to win the game, and and that's that's me. And and I'm proud of my boys, and I always will be. We will achieve soon at this club. Um, we keep playing the way we we we, we played today. Yeah, the, the belief that I have in the boys, what I said from day one, I, this is the best squad I've had as a manager. Uh, if I'd have waned that belief, one one percent people would have seen through me. And I kept kept solid, this is the best squad I've ever had. And once the injuries had come back, we would be strong. I know what I've signed, I know what players we've got here. Um, and I'm not lucky it's come true, I, I believed it would come true. And, uh, and sort of justified in just staying strong with my belief that this squad is good enough to compete at, at most levels um, and today we've proved on our day we can be a match for, for some top teams, even though they're missing a few. I still take it as a good game. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, Paul Hayes has perhaps had to take a bit of a back seat in recent times while Scott Cash is taking headlines, but he showed today uh, what he's still capable of, I suppose. Yeah, he's a good player. Paul Hayes played at a good level and uh, took his goals fantastic. His left foot volley is awesome. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a brilliant goal. His penalty, never in doubt for me, even though I didn't watch it. He's uh, he's he's very good at them. Um, but yeah, we we have Weston, Saunders, Thompson coming off the bench. You know, I've got players in reserve that aren't even here today. Bloomfields and and you know Southwells. We've got a good squad, and we'll keep driving and keep pushing hard, keep being positive, but keep that humility about us because we know we're a small club in in the country, but we 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 fight hard and we uh, we love it. Yeah, everyone, every all of them, all of them, captains' performances. They're let down at the end, to them that they can't move. The, the lads are in the dressing room cramping up like they've given everything today. And as a manager, I can't ask for any more than that. I can't ask for any more. I can't ask for the win. They've given me everything. Um, I, I don't know if every manager gets that off every single player, but I certainly do. Cheers, guys. Thank, Thank you. you very much.